Hey, what's going on everybody? I just thought I'd give you an in-depth look at Samsung's Theme Park app. Now this of course is an app that was released uh, second half of 2019 and it allows you to kind of make your own theme in terms of uh, color schemes and accent colors and so forth on your Samsung Galaxy device allowing you to further customize it beyond uh, let's say just the default light or dark themes or the themes in the theme store uh, or the Goodlock app for example so there have been quite a few updates made for uh, One UI 2.0 and 2.1 for theme park and it is a lot more uh in depth now there's a lot more uh customization that you can do within the app so i thought i'd just show you uh, some of those things so once you launch the app here and i'm using this on a samsung galaxy s20 once you launch the app here it's going to ask you if you want to design a new theme or go back to a theme you were working on or have already saved and edit that. So I'm just gonna go to design a new theme here and it's going to ask you uh, if you wanna launch a picture straight from your current wallpaper or if you wanna pick something from the gallery. I'm just gonna hit gallery here and I've got a album here that shows a bunch of wallpapers, a bunch of wallpapers that I have downloaded and you can pick whatever you want here. I'm just gonna pick this one right here just because it's pretty colorful and might be easy to differentiate between everything here. So as soon as you select uh, your wallpaper here, it's going to show you in, uh, a preview of what the default wallpaper will look like on your home screen, right down here on your lock screen. And it shows you a preview of what your menu will look like, messaging, uh, etc. cetera. So uh, you can pick the main color of your theme down here. But the first thing I would do, if you are a fan of dark mode, like I am and have been for, I wanna say like eight years now on various smartphones, one thing they added here that they did not have before it used to be with theme park you can only install a theme create a theme uh, within light mode okay but if you tap on the three dots here on the top right there's got there's a dark mode button here that will allow you to switch this entire aesthetic to dark mode so tap that and all the whites suddenly become dark become black so if you tap on the various colors here you'll see how it affects your theme okay the colors of buttons and uh, your your on color, your off color, the regular accent color, etc. But you do not have to pick specifically from these. You can set your main color yourself. If you go all the way to this on the right here, it's got a little pencil here, and that allows you to pick a custom color here that you can set on your default. So you basically the HTML colors here. You can see you've got you can pick basically any color that exists and this was something that was not available before you had to keep choosing wallpapers till you get a choice of a color that you like so i'm just gonna set this uh kind of neonish green here for springtime and just see how that looks so uh, it doesn't pick it exactly you see here the the buttons here on the quick panel are a little bit darker but you can play with that and pick what you want so i picked a green here for example the accent color and if you tap on style here, this is where you can really drill down and, you know, customize almost every aspect of your theme. So I, I hit style here and it gives me two options. So if I tap on each of these options, you see how different it looks, right? See how different these colors look. And it'll automatically adjust certain things here. So like if I pick this one, then the icons within these buttons are black instead of white because the accent color itself is lighter so black is a better contrast you see when i go back to this it's green with white icons so not only can you pick between these and sometimes it'll give you more options than than just two but if you tap and hold it's going to let you edit each of these you see these this menu here that popped up it tells us gives us an option to change our background color the on background color surface color which will be uh, this color here in the background and like some of the menus and the keypad Got your primary color on primary color, etc. You see you can change all of these Okay, so it goes all the way to highlight color a couple of error colors 
So you can customize every single one of these, which you could not do before in the theme park app. So background color, I'll leave as black for dark mode. I like it better that way. I'll leave the on background color as white for now, because that'll show, uh, for example, the labeling, the clock here, that's all gonna be white. Surface color, I don't like this shade of green as my surface color, so if I go back down in here, and let's say I want a dark gray, I'll turn the saturation down, go up here, and make it a dark gray. So I like that. So I'm just gonna tap back up here, and you see the surface color changed. It was a green shade before, now it's a gray. And I like that, that's kind of a little bit more like the default. So I went in there and changed that. I can tap and hold again, go right back in there, change something else. See, primary color. I don't know, just so we can, just so we can test out how it changes here. Let me pick this uh, kind of, I don't know, what is that, like a coral color. And boom, you see that some of the labeling here is that coral color, some of the icons changed. All right, go back, edit some more. And you can just play with this to your heart's content. All right, it's got the on primary color is still dark. Primary color is the green that we chose on the previous menu. Okay, you see how this works now. Primary light color, let me change that uh, to match our primary color, for example, that we chose. So it's that, that neon green again. So once I did that, and you can see that there that that changed, tap and hold to edit again. And you can keep just keep playing with these until, uh, you know, you, you get a combination that you like. Now, this, I don't know, this is maybe slightly ugly, but I'm just showing you here as an example. First, set, to the, set it to the dark mode, and then go ahead and drill down and customize to your heart's content. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. It's as easy as that. Let me, let's see here. Let me change something else. Uh, error color, I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll keep that red. Highlight color. I don't want the highlight color to be pink. So, I tapped on that, and maybe I'll make the highlight color that same coral that I had instead. Boom. No, no pink in there for a highlight color. And it's the coral. Go in here, just to make it a little bit more consistent. You can also copy and paste color codes. So I like this color that I had. So I'm going to press and hold. It highlights it for me. Keyboard pops up. I press copy. Now I'm gonna go back. And where I had a different color, like this primary dark color, I wanna change it to the color I just copied. So I'm gonna press and hold, I'm gonna paste, and you see there's a slight difference there. You can't really see it on camera. I probably should have chose two different colors, but uh, you can probably see the difference there. And so now that's all the same, just for consistency's sake. Okay, and you see how that affected the style and everything. I can go back and do the same with that coral color that I had. I'm gonna press and hold, I'm gonna paste, and now I've got that consistent colorway kind of across the board here. So it also lets you crop the wallpaper image that you chose if you want uh, if you want it to pull from just a specific part of the image. So you just tap on that thumbnail preview of your home screen and then you can change the picture if you want. Or you can go to crop. And if I just, I don't know, let's say I want it to just be these reds and oranges mostly, I can crop it and put it here. And then all of a sudden, everything I chose changed. You see, it's just a specific part of the wallpaper and it'll apply all those colors. And you can edit all of those like I showed you before. One more thing you can do, you can change the color and the style of these icons. So for example, if I have these colored icons on, it'll apply a color to the icons that is relevant to the theme. So you see when I put that on, you see the icons here are different shades of those, you know, pinkish coral, reddish orange colors. And you can pick between any of these options here. And these are all relevant to the theme as the app deemed it. I personally am not a huge fan of that, but I mean, it'll match and it'll look great if you want it to, to have that specific aesthetic, but I'll toggle those off and it'll stay with the default coloring of the icons. So you can just keep playing with this until you get to something you like. And once you are done, all you have to do is click save up here and it's gonna ask you to name your theme. I'm just gonna call it, let's say spring two, cause I already had made a spring theme. Press okay. It's gonna install your theme. It's gonna take uh, a couple seconds, maybe to a minute maximum. And after it does that, it's going to automatically launch the themes app, not the theme park app, but the default 
the default app that uh, allows you to install themes and shows you what wallpapers and stuff you have. So this is, this is the one we just created, Spring 2. It's on the default now. Once I select Spring 2 and tap on Apply, it's going to apply the theme that we just created. So it's applying the theme now. It's going to change the wallpaper and everything else. So you can install your theme, but you don't have to keep that same wallpaper. You can go just go ahead and change the wallpaper like you otherwise would. So here it is. This is our theme that we just created. And if you pull down this menu here, you see elements of that theme that we just created. This is the colors. This is the color that we picked for the on buttons and the, the accent color and everything else. You go into the settings menu and it looks pretty much like the default, but that's because we set it that way. You could have made these uh, background bubbles here uh, any color you wanted. So there you go. The theme is installed. Even, uh, even things as deep as like when you press the volume button, you see that the indicator here is that same primary color uh, that we chose in Theme Park. And just a note here, if you use GoodLock, if you wanted to use the GoodLock app on top of this, once you turn GoodLock on, GoodLock will override uh, whatever you did in the theme park. So you can use them in conjunction with each other. So you can use good luck, let's say, to make this menu transparent or something while preserving the other things that you did with your theme using theme park. So for example, if I launch good luck here and I turn it on, this was the last theme I had. So I press and hold on that, press edit, tap apply. Once I go down here, you see that's been applied over the theme that I created. So both are working together. So you can have both of those working together if you want. So you see how it's different here. It's more transparent and I chose a similar color here, but it's not the exact same thing because this is using good luck while the rest of the theme has been ap applied. You can see here, this would not be a bright green if I wasn't using theme park. Just using good luck, I wouldn't have been able to change that part, change that color. So, and then, I mean, it's really simple to change your wallpaper after that. Just go to wallpaper and it's not gonna, it's not gonna mess with your theme. I'm just gonna go to gallery here, check out my wallpapers. And maybe I'll just go down to the wallpaper that I had previously, which was this one. Home screen, set on home screen. And boom, I applied the wallpaper I want and I'm using theme park and I'm using good lock on top of that. You can also change your lock screen as well. So that's that. And whenever you wanna switch your theme back to whatever it was before, just go back to themes, go into your settings, go to themes, tap on the hamburger menu up here, go to my stuff, and you see your themes here. So this is the one we have applied and all the themes that you create and save in Theme Park will show up here and you can just go back and forth between whatever you want. So it's, it's simple and uh, it's a really, really cool app if you wanna really drill down and customize the way your Samsung Galaxy looks. And I've been enjoying using it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just put them down below in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one.